it's day three on our Disney Dream Cruise, and we woke up early today so we could pack a lot in today and do a lot. Another reason we woke up early is because we wanted to check out, wait, whoa, all the elevators are open here. That's weird. That's interesting. I wonder if it's to air them out. I don't know, but anyway, we came to the atrium so we can see if the ship comes alive at 7 a.m., like we've heard. We've heard that the ship has a song that wakes everybody up at 7. It's not actually gonna like wake anybody up, but I think it's like just to like start the day. Yeah, I wanna stand right under the chandelier. It's like super quiet here and it's not normal. It's normally like so loud in here, but it, it's it's really cool actually. Like it's it's nice to see. It's it's really cool being here, like alone and in the quiet. I like it. When you get a good look at Donald, he survived the um the duck meal that they were serving in that restaurant last night. There's, um, I never noticed this because we haven't like spent enough time in here, but there's like little characters in yeah. the cold. It's like you don't really notice it at first, but there's like Disney characters. They kind of blend into the, like the design. It's like characters without being in your face, you know? Like it still looks classy, but there's still the characters there. Right. Okay, it's almost seven, so we'll see if at exactly seven it starts. The little Mickey heads in the design of the chandelier. That's not a hidden Mickey, that's part of the design. But this Mickey right here, if you can see his ears and his nose here and his mouth, this is a side profile shot. I think that would be considered a hidden Mickey. We're still waiting for this thing to happen. We don't even know for sure if this will be a thing. But I'm awake. It's a good excuse to get up early so that you can make the most of your day. Do you need an excuse for that? I don't know. I I was comfor I was like too comfy in that bed, so <laughs> Oh my god. It happened. We really kind of didn't think it would happen. The ship is alive. This is cool. Do you know the song? No. This is the electrical water pageant da -da -da -da, and Main Street Electrical Parade. That's Now, do you think that like the music just came on or is this like a good morning song? I don't know. I don't know either. I guess services, they have a little map of like each Disney like resort and they have the ships on there and the ships move. And they put the ships to where they currently are, like, like right now. The guy at guest services totally blew our minds. Yeah. And he, I think we made him happy as much as he made yeah. us happy. And they already have the Wish magnet, but it's not out yet, yeah. obviously. But that's cool. That's fun. So this one is magic. Yes. There you go. Ah! That is so yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we can tell that this is the dream and fantasy because the aqua duck. Yes. Do you think they'll give you a new one for the Wish? Oh, that's cool. Oh, really? It's the same one, but I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, wow. that is so cool. Well, you <laughs> made us really happy by showing us that. <laughs> I'm starting my day off with my mocha frappe from Cove Cafe. I saw my co my coffee card, and I was like, oh, I have to get this. So it works. But you really but like that, right? You think it's... I think it's good, yeah. Good. Yeah, this is the first time we've had to put on sunglasses this whole cruise. <laughs> And there is Castaway Key. If you can see it, it's very small, but that's it. And it seems like we're, we're circling it right now. I, I don't know if we're waiting for weather to clear up or what, but I, it looks, as of now, it looks nice enough to go. I'm not sure if it's still too windy, but we'll see. This was supposed to be a sea day for us, but then they said yesterday that um, they're gonna try to make this our castaway key day because we missed it yesterday so hopefully they can make that happen i hope so and if not i'm i'm okay with it because like well, yeah. the weather is finally nice out and no and i think something that we've discussed but i don't know if we've discussed with them is like this cruise wasn't even supposed to happen we yeah. just like found a good deal and we booked it and so like i think that whatever happens happens because like yeah yeah. You keep trying to get me out of the shot. Oh, I whoops. keep having to stay close to you. Sorry. This is the closest in cruise we ever booked. I think it was three days. Like, we booked it on Tuesday night, and the cruise left on Friday, so... That's crazy. But that's the perk of living an hour away from the cruise port. And everybody should. 
Everybody should live within an hour of one cruise port and then like three hours of two others. Yeah, they have Disney trivia going on in the funnel vision screen. Get it? Tunnel vision, funnel vision. I like that. What's the name of the famous statue that Walt and Mickey appeared at Disneyland? A uh, partner's statue. Did you know that? Nope. Let's see, partners, yay. This this is this is nice. This is literally the first time we've seen blue skies. It's It's blue skies, there's nobody around, so I'm not getting like overstimulated by a bunch of kids running around. Yeah. I think waking up early is the way to go. Waking up early is the way to do it. Which pool is this? Oh, this is Donald's pool. And I just read the sign right there and saw that. I don't know why this is Donald's, but Well look, his his oh nephew is right there. Huh. This pool also turns into a stage when they roll out the deck here. Because they do a lot of shows like right in front of the screen here. This is interesting too. Like the um, the steps into the pool, they have to like take down oh, the railing. You have a kid slide right there. I don't think adults can do that. I think there's probably a height limit. I'm not sure though. We've literally never walked this floor. I know. Like, it's so interesting. Because it's been raining the whole time. But then you have the aqueduct over there. And then this is the Mickey pool, which makes a lot more sense because it is a side profile view of Mickey's head. And I do appreciate the fact that, that they went with the side profile instead of just the three circles. Yeah, and um, this one we've noticed is kind of a cesspool <laughs> of young children who are likely peeing in the pool. Oh my so God. I would probably steer clear of this one. What is quacks? Because there's one on that side and there's one on that side. I, is, are they, is it like a shop that opens? I think it's like something for them to sell like sunscreen and stuff like that. But we haven't seen it open. We haven't needed that, so. Yeah. So here's the quacks thing. I think this is a little store. It, yeah, because it seems like it would just open. Yeah, and then down here is one of the um, like self-serve soda stations. Um, and there's one on the other side too, if you just went to the other side of the ship, like right there. The one on the right is better than the one on the left. Yeah, we've, we've noticed it like mixes the syrups better. And then this is Nemo's Reef, which is, it's just like, um, it's like a little like toddler, like splash area. This is the kind of thing that I want to be able to play in, in like an adults only cruise. Like it's got sprinklers and stuff and it looks fun. Disney should do an adults only cruise. Okay, then if we keep walking down, we have Vanellope's, which is an ice cream and candy store based off the video game Sugar Rush, featured in the movie Wreck-It Ralph. And here we are in Cabanas now. So this is another perk of getting up early. Yeah. Like just like having Cabanas like pretty no, empty. There's no line. Okay, so that this you got a Mickey waffle, a Mickey which waffle. is really cool. Look at the little seagulls. Wow. From Finding Nemo. Like you can't see any of this when it's so crowded in here and you're like, what am I gonna get? I don't know. Okay, you, you got some good stuff. I think like. I did. I got different stuff than yesterday. We're gonna get a table right in the back and maybe watch us pull into Castaway, hopefully. Look at the wake. You can see it. At least I got to see it. <laughs> Even if we don't go, we got to see it. <laughs> hey, we finished our breakfast and um, we're making our way to the front of the ship now because we actually started to turn towards Castaway. Oh my God, I can see it. So, okay, the waves look pretty rough out there. Okay, we're at the very front of the ship now. And so there's Castaway. Hello, Castaway. It, it's, it's probably hard to see in camera, but there are like the waves crashing, but it doesn't seem that windy right now. So I think this might be a good opportunity to dock. Where is the dock? It seems wavy and not windy. So what we're looking at here, this is, that's the adult beach and then down there is the dock which we will be backing into because they always back into the dock at cast it's over there yeah way over there as you can see it's much bigger than coco key you know yes but it also seems like there's less like, like there's buildings less, it's like the island itself is bigger but the developed land is probably less right yeah we've really slowed down now it's like we're hardly moving I feel like our, our lovely captain is just being nice and cautious, making the attempt. Yeah, not very windy out here at all. No. We're getting a really good look at it. Like, it, it's really cool to see it from here, even if we can't dock. Yeah, I'm glad we came out here. It's cool, yeah. So because we're going to be backing in, I think now it's a good time for us to move to the aft of the ship so we can get a better view. So if you didn't know, um, 
docking at Castaway Key can sometimes be a gamble because um, they obviously the dock is man-made and they had to dredge um, a deeper section of ocean near the dock and it's very narrow so if the conditions are too like too windy or the tides are too high the ships actually can't dock safely so sometimes you get a situation where you can't dock even if it doesn't seem like the weather's that bad i'm burning up burning up for you baby okay so we made our way to the aft this is also where the mini golf course is and you can see now the island is in view here's the dock right and then the, these buoys i think is where um that's where the deep ocean stops so we have to get in between this area here and I, I don't know for sure. I would, I'd love to ask a captain this. If if it's because, like, let's say currents and wind were pushing the ship this way, I'm guessing the ship doesn't have the horsepower to counteract that and still dock. It does look like the current is very much like pushing into the dock. Yes, so because the current right now is and the wind is going this way, I think that's more favor favorable. Favorable? You? I'm like, I don't want to crash into the dock. Now, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if it's because we don't have enough horsepower to counteract it. I don't know why. Maybe uh, we should Google it before we start giving false I have, information. I think I have Googled it. I'm not giving false information. I'm saying that this is my my guess of why the ship can't do it. But it, I mean, the gist of it is we have to get through this narrow spot here. And sometimes that's hard. Wow. The aft is very... Yeah, it, it seems like um, you can see like water over there is being tossed around and over there so it seems like we have some like maybe thrusters in action going we don't want to see water coming from there because that means we're leaving the island <laughs> mm. but i mean like we can see like the crew is on the dock ready for us I, I saw some like lifeguards over there and people getting the beach ready so they are getting ready for us so they do think that there is a strong possibility of this happening and there are cast members that live on the island not as many as cast or not as many as coco key but i was about to ask like where where yeah, I'm not sure exactly where they live, probably somewhere beyond the um, the guest areas, obviously, but I know a lot of the crew will be getting off to um, work at the restaurants and stuff. Oh. But I think, you know, a lot of the lifeguards probably live here or live on an island very close to here that they can commute over to. That's where we were eating breakfast at Cabana's in the outside section. I love the outside section. You can really feel the ship, like, shaking and stuff. Like, they're really trying to get us in position here. You can definitely see um, people's like aft view rooms that look nice too. Yeah, yeah. So beyond um, Cabana's, those are aft facing rooms. Looks like they have maybe a suite or something. I don't know because it looks like a really big balcony. It's a nice extended balcony if it's not a suite. Yeah. Like let's say this was Coco Key. Coco Key is one dock with there's not really much on either side of the dock. Yeah. We have a very narrow space and there's only one one dock for one ship. A castaway here but the skies are blue i can't believe we're getting weather like this this is awesome but yeah look how look how hard it is to get here it, it, that's it's such a tight spot it seems like they're doing it like I it seems like it's working yeah i'm like still trying not to get my hopes up but like i'm very excited yeah i think i think it's gonna happen i think we're we're at the point now where we're close enough maybe hopefully they should just like send in tender boats if you can't make it yeah <laughs> It's gonna be a great day and it's gonna be unexpected and I love that. Seems like we're doing it. This view with the water and the sky, like this looks amazing. I feel really bad. Um, yesterday we saw a bride in an elevator and like she thought that that was Castaway Day and she probably wanted to have her wedding at Castaway. Yeah. And, like today we're here. She should have had her wedding today. Wow. What character do you think will be there to greet us? <laughs> um. Jack Sparrow. Let's hope so. I hope it's Johnny Depp. <laughs> right. <laughs> he has all this free time now that the money. trial's over. <laughs> What's funny is if we were on Royal, I'd be like, okay, we made it. Let's go back to the room. But here, I'm like, I don't trust it until I, I see think, us I think throw a rope. I think we're good. We're at the, the point of, of no return. The point of no return. No going back tonight. Do you know what musical that's from? Um, no. Do you want to take a guess? Les Mis. That's a good guess. What is it? It's Phantom of the Opera. Oh. Uh, Look at all the people. Yeah. Everybody's watching us pull in. No pressure on the captain. 
only, you know, 4,000 people are relying on him to do this. He must have a really good backup camera on his car. Well, I don't know, because, like, there's a camera right there. I don't think that's good yeah. enough, though. It's got to be down there. This is so exciting. I can feel the warmth from the sun. Yeah, the like, as soon as, like, we, like, we passed, like, over into the point of, like, we're, we're docking, like, essentially. The like, sun came out of the cloud. Yeah, and it's, like, burning me. Yeah. We did it. We're docked. Let's go to the room and get ready. Oh my god, we're here. We're here. We've never even really gotten to look at the ship. Yeah. The weather is so nice. Like, There's we're so lucky. There's the perfect breeze. It's yeah. blue skies. I can't believe that there was literally just a storm. Okay, it said it was a six minute wait for the shuttle or a seven minute walk. So we should do the walk. Yep. What we're going to do right now is kind of just explore the island. This is Carrie's first time on Castaway. I've never been here before, so I want to see all the sights. I've been here before, but it's been like five years. Here's some fun facts about Castaway Key. <laughs> it used to be called Gorda Key. Disney actually doesn't own the island. What? It's a 99-year lease from the Bahamas. Wow. And so when they leased it, they changed the name to Castaway Key. But what's funny is like in 99 years, like all the current Disney cruise ships will be out of service, which is crazy to think wow, about. Wow, that is funny. The earliest history for this island that I found online is it actually was used by pirates, like real life pirates in the 1700s. And they found gold coins. They found uh, gold and silver on this island. That's cool. And so like, that's just a part of the evidence of why they think it actually was used by pirates. And it is like a prime location for pirates. So they would want to be here because this was like along a trade route. So like there would be ships that they could try to take over and steal stuff from wow. sailing near here. So right before Disney uh, leased the island, it was actually used for drug smuggling. And they found $100 million worth of drugs that they confiscated on the island, which is pretty crazy. $100 million. That's, that's the reason why there's an airport on the island is yeah. from planes so, that were doing that. Yeah, so um, they built a runway on the island to help them with their drug smuggling, like that getting stuff to for like getting drugs to Florida so but the runway is, is still here and now it's like used as part of the tram path I checked my notes 1982 is when they found the drugs and then in 1983 Disney filmed parts of the movie Splash starring Tom Hanks on this island which is crazy just a year after the drug bust it was Splash and not because wasn't Tom Hanks in a movie called Castaway oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> no, not that castaway. That's funny though. So here we have, I think this is like the beach where you can rent jet skis and water stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah, we have the sign here. It says island info canceled all excursions. Wow. What's interesting is we didn't book any excursions. Yeah. So nothing's wrong for us, but for other people that kind of thing. Snorkel gear rental, that's something that you had wanted to yeah. do. I'm hoping that the snorkeling is open. Um, I'm not sure if that counts as like an excursion, I don't know. Yeah. But if we can, I'd, I'd like to do that. Okay, here, here's a classic photo op called Mount Rustmore <laughs> with the ship in the background. And I think this is the main gift shop area over here. They said they have exclusive merchandise that you can only get here. That's cool. Oh, that's really cute. Wow. I like that a lot. I think I need this mug. They have a different turvis. Lots of turvises on Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> what? I can't. I liked that this was like a Razorback, but it's about running. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Look how nice this looks. I really was not expecting us to be able to come here today. Like, that's beautiful. When we get that, married, that is... we'll get married right here and have that in our background, okay? Yes, dear. Okay. This is so cool. We gotta take a photo here. Yeah. So it looks like this is the Stingray Adventure Excursion, which seems like that's gonna be closed today. We're hoping this has snorkel equipment. Okay, he said um, the snorkeling area is closed right now because it's too the water's too cloudy because of the tropical storm. We don't even know if it was a tropical storm. We don't even know if it made that status because we can't check the weather and there's no weather channel on board. But uh, because of the storm, we'll just say. So he said check back later maybe. So we'll keep exploring and maybe go to the adult beach now. Yeah. There's a so high-pitched, like high I don't know if it's gonna like show up on camera, but there's a high-pitched um, seagull deterrent going on. So this is, this is, um, okay, the drink station is, they're still getting that ready. Okay, but anyway, this is um, Cookie's Barbecue. We need that boat in our house, that's cute. Yeah. And so, okay, because there's an apostrophe 
It means cookie is a name, right? That's cookies. Yeah. Like what Disney character could that be based off of? I don't know any cookie. I don't know either. And they also have cookies to barbecue. They're just like the same restaurant, but just a different location. But the two is spelled T-O-O. -O. Yeah. But I, I asked um, the Disney Cruise Line blog, the writer of that, I asked him like, what character is cookie? And he said, oh, it's not a character. It's because they serve a lot of cookies. That can't be right. But the apostrophe means that it's someone's name. Cookies. I would think. Unless it's, well, not necessarily. It could be like, it is the cookies, the, the cookies barbecue. I don't know. If anybody knows who cookie is or what that is named off of, leave a comment because I actually want to know. Okay, so the, here's the restroom and we have a great pun because they call, instead of like men and women, it's sons with a U because it's talking about like a beach vibe kind of thing. So sons and daughters. The That's one that cool. I'm trying to dissect is this Pelly Can restroom. I feel like like I'm going to the can is something no. that people say. I don't know. That, I don't know what that means. I feel like that's what Oh, I can. Pelican. I don't know what that is. I don't is. know what the pun is. The only thing no. I can think of is what I said. This sign says snorkeling on standby, boat beach on standby. So that's good to know. Yeah. And I wonder, like this is the cabana check and I bet people can still do their cabanas. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, we're gonna take the tram over to Serenity Bay now, which is the adult beach. Here's the runway that was here when Disney uh, bought this island. Looks like they put a little prop there, unless that was somehow there from before. Isn't it cool how they use the runway as like a tram road now? Yeah, I think that is cool. And like these planes are here and they've decorated them all Disney-like. Yeah, they like they painted Donald on that plane. This area is like themed to like airplanes. Like there's a little airplane there and this is the, like looks like an airplane hangar. The Castaway Air Bar. That's funny. And here we are at Serenity Bay, the adult beach. The water does look a little cloudy, and it looks like there's a lot of seaweed. Okay, we found our spot. See you in a couple hours, I yeah. guess. Good night. <laughs> Here's how you know that you've been laying on a Disney chair too long. <laughs> I like that. I feel like I want that as a permanent tattoo on my body. But I don't want it like in ink. I want it permanently like stamped on there. Well, now you have a stencil. You could just fill it in. Yeah. All right, let's go to lunch. Okay. So I'm hungry. So it's time for us to refuel. Is this cookies too? Right here? That's cookies too. Wow. That's all the fuel you need. Wow. No, let, let's, <laughs> let's go to the real place. Just around the river bend <laughs> over here. We don't have to take the tram back because they have an adult only barbecue. Oh, it's Serenity Bay barbecue. Serenity Bay barbecue. So where was cookies too? It's like near the family beach. Wow, we're like the first people here. Potato salad. I want coleslaw. Hot dogs, hamburgers, some other grilled stuff, chicken. Okay, we got our barbecue stuff. And we got, well, I got um, ribs, cornbread, and corn on the cob. It looks good. I got a bunch of like coleslaw pasta salad. There's like sweet corn salad. And then I got like honeydew and the ribs. Near the Serenity Bay barbecue, there's a little beach here. And I noticed it says crew members only. So that's really cool that the crew gets their own private beach to relax. That's awesome. Okay, we made our way to the family beach because honestly there was just a lot of seaweed at the adult beach. But look how picture perfect this beach is. This is insane. It's really gorgeous. Yes, it is cold, but it feels nice. It feels refreshing. We're gonna go on the water slides now over there. We have to swim to get to it. Somehow this water feels warmer than the other water we were just in. Yeah, but it's still kind of cold. Yeah. And, we, and we, they told us you have to be a really good swimmer because it's like... Six to ten feet so you won't be able to touch. Although yeah. you, maybe, but you won't be able to breathe. It's cold. It is cold. <laughs> I need to like... Get you. <laughs> I'm just going to chill out here for a second. <laughs> it is so cold. <laughs> oh, good job. Okay, now it's not that bad. No, I feel, I feel used to it. Yeah. This was a good way to like incentivize myself to get in. Yeah, for real. Hey, this is the kitty area that you wanted. Your dreams are coming true. Ah! We could shoot a pelican. Let's see if I can shoot you. Oh, it doesn't turn enough. <laughs> and there's the ship. Okay, now we get in line. It's crazy, I can like feel the dock moving. Yeah. The Castaway Key is like, it feels like a, like a Disney water park. It's very fun. Yeah. I feel like the beach is very pretty. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go! Whoa. You were slow. <laughs> so 
was yours enclosed the whole time? Yeah, it was very dark. Like, I didn't know where I was going. Mine was open the whole time. That's cool. The drop at the end is cool. It's been a couple hours. We went swimming in the big family beach area after we got used to the water from the water slide. It was much easier swimming around. So it's been a couple hours since we ate lunch. So now it's time for us to have another full meal. Lunch number two. This time we're gonna check out Cookie's barbecue. Maybe we'll get a cookie, who knows? We'll see what happens. Yeah, I feel like we should. Yeah, we have to. Let's see, it looks like this is gonna be hamburgers and hot dogs. A chicken, they have ribs again. Okay, you found the cookies. Cookies, fudge brownie, lemon raspberry crumble loaf, all the goodies. Wow. Okay, I got some chicken, a cookie of course, and a hot dog. Looks good. How come I always eat more food than you? I don't know, but that's not fair. I need to eat more, I guess. Yeah, you're much taller than me. I'll eat a lot of ice cream later and make up for it. Okay. Yeah, they also have um, so soft serve ice cream. Just like on board, I'm gonna be getting a bucket. That's my bucket. He's filling it up for me right now. Just kidding. I wanna see you do your my best, technique. your best um, presentation. Okay, the world is watching. Oh, oh God. Oh no. <laughs> That's pitiful. Brian has decided he wants some and he's a professional ice cream. Uh, Maker. Yours is coming out a lot slower than mine, so I feel like that's an advantage. It's not bad. It's not too bad. But it's not, it's not great. It's not perfect, and you had an advantage of the thing being slower. Well, I did that on purpose. That was my technique to go as slow as possible. Got it. This ice cream seems, it's like a different, um, Recipe, it's, it, it tastes different than on board. And I think that we're gonna have to test the onboard ice cream again, just to like make sure, to make, like it's for science. It's research. Yeah. We found a nice secluded area right behind the snorkel place. This is a good spot, like nobody's around here. If you want somewhere really quiet, it looks so nice over here. What'd you find? A pretty shell. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh my God, look, and there's stingrays in oh here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Those blobs in the water are stingrays. That's cool. This is the this is um the stingray experience. If uh, Obviously, it's canceled today, but that's where you would snorkel and see stingrays. That's awesome. I guess it's like too murky to like see them. Yeah, I mean, we can see them from here. I know, but like probably dangerous or something. Yeah, the storm probably made them angry, so they're probably ready to sting. Yeah. They want to get revenge. But um, have... Have you seen that? It's cool. It's a very pretty. Like the ship looks so nice. The ship is well done. Yeah. This is like a picture perfect area here. It's amazing. The birds are just like us. This seagull knows what's up. I don't want to disturb his nap, but. You're getting too close. That's awesome. <laughs> he literally knows how to have a good time on Castaway. Like that's my favorite activity. We're heading back to the ship now. What did you think about your first visit to Castaway Key? I really liked it. It was very relaxing and um, very beautiful. And I think what you said earlier, there's, there's, there's no point in trying to compare these private islands because you're on a private island, they're all great. Yeah, it's all great. Like either you're on a Disney cruise or, or you're on a real Caribbean cruise. When you go to the private island, it's gonna be great. Um, yeah. Very it, well decorated, very well yeah. kept beaches. Um, the beaches are much better than Coco Key. Yeah, because at Coco Key, it's all like, it's almost like muddy when you step on the sand. The, it's like yeah. sticky. Coco Key has slimy, um, like sand um, in the water on the beaches, and there's also jellyfish. Yeah, I find the beaches here much better, but there's yeah. no pool. Yeah, Coco Key has a pool. Kind of why I'm walking back on the ship is because I really want to try out the, the pools on board, and there's no pool here. I would say the food is better on Coco Key. I would too, because there's only, there's, the options, while there were multiple places to get the food, it's all a barbecue. the options were the same at yeah. the places. It's hot dogs, hamburgers, ribs, and chicken. Whereas like on Coco Key, you have the snack shack and then you have the, the other restaurant. Obviously the, the chicken sandwich. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
How but could we forget? This is, we're saying all of this after I just said we shouldn't compare islands. I know. <laughs> so They're both great. They're both great. And I loved my time here and I can't wait to come back at some point. We're going to be back when we um, go on the Disney Wish later in the year. Yeah. And instead of see you real soon, we have see you later, mon. <laughs> like Pokemon. Yeah. The water is like such a nice shade of blue. It really is. I can't wait to come back when it's not like murky from a storm because yeah. it's crystal clear blue, but it's like got a bunch of sand turned up in it. So I feel like it'd be even more beautiful, uh, not after a storm. Yeah. I love the fact that like each Disney ship has a different um, decoration on the back. Like this one's Sorcerer Mickey with the, the brooms. I will say we tried, I wanted to watch Fantasia on board and they, oh, they didn't have they didn't have that on board so we're gonna have to watch that at home i guess there's so many great photo ops on this island like look at this this is just one of them so many great places for a photo here so as we're heading back there's this sign it says captain bob Iger, shrimp distributors wow so obviously bob Iger is the ex-ceo of the disney company so that's a little easter egg do you think they'll just paint over Iger and put, put it in jpeg <laughs> They should. They have a real post office here. You do need bohemian stamps to mail something. How do you get that? I don't know. They might have it on board. Uh, but the manager is maybe Tamara. No, it's maybe Tamara. Maybe Tamara. Tamara. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tom maybe tomorrow. I know, yeah. You don't get it. I get it. No, you don't. What is this button? I have to push it. It's not a button. Bob JPEG alert. Okay, we have another thing over here. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this area is, but Bob JPEG, master shipbuilder. That's the current CEO of the Disney company. I guess we'll find out if he's a good shipbuilder with the Disney Wish. Yeah. Wow, this is nice. They have um, um, showers to rinse your feet off. That is nice. Right next to the ship. They have water and cold towels. This is really nice. This is so nice. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, it feels so good. My shoulders need this. Ah, it's very cold. It's colder than the water in Castaway. We have a great view of the aqueduct going off the side of the ship here. Let's see if it goes over. Do you think anyone's riding it right now? Oh, there they go. Wow. That'll be us soon. Yeah, we're going to go do that right now because we feel like nobody's going to be in line right now. That's kind of why we're leaving the island right now. It's like we want to go to the aqueduct. I want to go to Quiet Cove Pool. I want to go to Satellite, Satellite Falls. Falls. Yeah. We had a great day at Castaway Key. We got back on board. We did the aqueduct. We went to Satellite Falls. I love Satellite Falls. Satellite Falls was amazing. And I love how they also use other satellites like as like shade structures. And with like tables and chairs underneath. That's it's, awesome. It's very clever. But Satellite Falls itself, we were just laying in there. It's really cool. I took a nap. Yeah, I love it. But yeah, we're, we're about to um, shower and then get ready for the show. By the way, why are the cups so small? They only want you to have a little bit of soda. Yeah, I feel like they just want you to be dehydrated so they can wow you with their medical services. Oh, the popcorn smells amazing. We're on our way to the show called Believe. We've actually never walked through this hallway, which is crazy. It is crazy. Because this is, right here is the Buena Vista Theater. This is where they have the movies. Found it. We haven't seen that yet. Okay, here's the show tonight. It's called Disney's Believe. We're gonna do the balcony tonight. Let's go. The Walt Disney Theater. Show starts in five minutes. Okay, here we go. This, it, the view is good from the balcony. I love right? a good balcony. Everybody knows you're a balcony girl. Everyone knows. While we wait for the show to start, we were just like talking about like the difference between Disney Cruise Line. And one of the major differences, I think, the only way I can describe it is like fanfare. Disney and sprinkles pixie dust on like sailing away. And like the horn, the countdown from when we set sail at the beginning. Like, and they create, they generate excitement for things. Like, yeah. like oh my God, there's going to be a pirate party tonight and there's going to be fireworks. And it's like, they, they like make you yeah. all excited. And that's a really great thing. Yeah. And I think there would even, there would be even more fanfare on like a seven night cruise. We like, were also saying like the sign of a good cruise is that you want to come back and take a longer one. Like this was only a three night cruise and we're like, we should do a seven night Disney cruise. So. Yeah. I'm excited to do another Disney cruise. Yeah. Let's just think of the show. I might have cried a little bit. Yeah. I thought it was cute. It's, here's the difference between Royal and Disney. It's like they have 
bits of dialogue in between songs so that it like makes sense what's happening. There's a story. Yeah, and just like, like the dancers are so talented. Like you can just tell. And there's original songs too. There are. I love that. What did you think? I thought it was good. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. Okay, so tonight they had like Lumiere like as Lumiere like that you see and like there was Mrs. Potts like you see and like if they had just done that last night I would have loved the show like a thousand times better and that's literally all I needed was that I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> we came up after the show to what is this deck 13 yes okay <laughs> this is deck 13 <laughs> this is the adult area they're gonna be doing the fireworks um, in 30 minutes which we know 20, they're doing the fireworks in 23 minutes, this and look how bright it is. How is that possible? Is it going to be bright during the fireworks? I guess. Um, okay, by the way, they do the fireworks from starboard side. Yeah, it's always right? starboard, okay? Star, star bright, star light. So they, they have a pirate dance party right now in like the family pool area. Um, but we wanted to sit down. I didn't feel like a pirate tonight. I was a pirate last night. Yeah. I look more like Elizabeth Swan before she was picked up by Jack Sparrow tonight. By the way, we shouldn't be celebrating pirates because they're criminals and uh, murderers. And they're a danger to society, even in, mo in our modern day. Yeah, and I just saw a man with a sword. And it's like, we're celebrating swords now? There it's are like, massacres every day. You dress your kid up like a pirate, you're kind of teaching him like, hey, we celebrate this criminal activity. Thievery is okay in this house. You, te you teach your kid to dress up like the pirate, he'll become a criminal later in life. That's anyway, how that works. Um, so this is our spot for the fireworks. This is what we're looking at here. We're looking at the amazing pool deck of the Disney dream. And this is like my favorite moment of the cruise. Yeah, look how glassy the water is. Show, oh yeah, show yeah. how glassy the water is. The there water. was literally just a tropical storm, people. The water is so smooth. And yesterday it was the complete opposite. I feel so lucky. Like the weather today has just been a complete gem. Like I don't Perfect know weather. how we got this lucky. I don't yeah. know how we got this glassy water. I don't know how we got this beautiful blue sky. I'm grateful. I'm lucky. I'm happy. Yeah, I love moments like this on a cruise where you're yeah. just, you're sitting on the top deck, you can look around, the, the weather's amazing, and I don't know, I, I, it's great. You can see that we're kind of turning right now, and I can almost guarantee that we're doing that to position the ship in a more favorable position for when the fireworks go off, because obviously we want the wind taking the fireworks away from the ship. That is like an only Disney Cruise Line thing. Well, yeah, it obviously oh, yeah. is. Like, fireworks on a cruise is an only Disney thing, but then only Disney would, like, turn their ship so that you get the perfect firework condition. Yeah, yeah. Royal, if they, if Royal launched fireworks, they would, they would launch, launch them fireworks. into the wind and laugh when people's balconies got set ablaze. We know Carnival would. I'm kidding. Okay, at this point, we've really been turning a lot. And if you look, you can see a Royal ship. We think it's a Royal ship. It could be a different cruise line. Way down there on the horizon. Do you think that the captain radios over that ship and says, hey, we're gonna be blasting some fireworks, it's not a distress signal or something, or? I would kind of hope so. Or maybe they all kind of like know, like, oh, it's one of those Disney ships again. <laughs> there they go again. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it is 15 minutes and this is how bright it is. So this might be interesting. I think this is gonna be cool. I think so too. Look at the cool like wave from yeah, where we were. I wanna surf that. Me too. I think a dolphin is about to pop out of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, let's talk about these cups some more. Um, so this is a Disney World uh, design here. So is a cruise part of Disney World? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think it's wrong to have that, especially because they told us that like people on board are from 30 different countries. So it's not like everybody is coming from like Disney World. Okay, but I heard a lot of people talking about how they were at Disney World. Like, I did hear somebody was like, oh yeah, I'm staying in the Beach Club Villas after this or something like that. Yeah. So. But still, there was a person in trivia next to us who was like, I'm from Disneyland. I'm not like from, but you know They were born there. They were born in Disneyland. Yeah, in the park. This royal ship is like literally like coming straight for us at this point. We are perpendicular and here's what I think. I think they've hired that royal Caribbean ship to look like a pirate ship trying to take over our ship. Yeah. And we're gonna shoot fireworks at them as if cannons. it was cannons. 
It's all part of the act. It's all part of the show. The reality is like one of these like container ships over here is probably currently under a hostage situation by pirates, like actual real life pirates. And like we're making a mockery of it like a hundred feet away. For sure. <laughs> Shoot some fireworks. Shoot some fireworks. I wanna see some fireworks. Fireworks, fireworks. I wanna see some fireworks during the day. During the day. That's not weird. That's okay. I wanna see some fireworks today. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. It's during the day. <laughs> Wow. I love the sitting star one. Wow. Whoa. That Those royal cool ship ones. is so lucky. I know. That royal ship is getting a free show. <laughs> That's so funny. They probably think we're sinking here. But... I think only if we can That was really cool. That was so cool. That's what sets Disney apart. Yeah. It really is. That was amazing. Highlight of the cruise. I think so. Not only just because the fireworks, but just sitting here being and just here. being on the pool deck and relaxing. Feeling the nice weather, reflecting yeah. on our great cruise. Yeah, just weather's perfect. The seas are calm. I'm about We're to not eat too pasta. far away. Yeah, you're about to eat pasta. We're not too far away from a Royal Caribbean ship. This is where I belong. We belong at sea. It's like I'm Elizabeth Swan and I'm learning that I belong at sea. That's what Pirate Night is all about. Yeah, I love pirates and I think everyone should celebrate them and encourage more pirate behavior. It's time for our grand finale of a dinner, which is at Animator's yeah, Palette. Palette. We have to get there so, so we can draw the thing. Well, I don't know if, we don't know what the like show will be. Uh, I better get to draw the thing. Okay, well, let's go. We made it into Animator's Palette. Looks like an animation studio in here. With a bunch of drawings on the walls and stuff. See, this is the coolest restaurant. It is. Like, look at the paintbrushes. Okay, you don't have it. But there's like paintbrushes and pencils holding the place up. Yeah, so like th there's obviously pillars that are needed for the structure of this restaurant. And so they have decorated them as different things. It's like people just don't, they don't think to decorate pillars like necessary structural pillars, the way that Disney thinks. So we have our bread of the night, which looks good. I think that's focaccia. Yeah, I think right. you said that. And yeah. it's like a garlic and herb thing. Yeah, but best of all, we have a butter knife that's a paintbrush. And they sell this in the gift shop, and I have one at home. I was going to say, do we have that at home? Yep. Tonight, for dinner, we have our question from Virag Vester. And he has a question about the meal plan. Would you guys recommend getting the all-inclusive meal plan, or would you do the three-night dinner instead? So this is about Royal. It's about obviously. Royal, yes. And so it's it, the question is, should we do like the ultimate dining plan, or just three night package. And I yeah. think this was specifically about allure if I'm if I'm correct. Yes, that's what he said. Okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? I have a lot of thoughts on this. I know you do. That's why you're answering. <laughs> I think we've come around to okay, if you get the dining package, whether it's three night or ultimate dining package, you're gonna save money, obviously. But you can't make reservations before your cruise. You have to make your re reservations on day one. It's a, it's a hassle to make that reservation on day one. You don't know what you're gonna have you until you're there. You don't know what options you're gonna have either. So we're, we've come to the conclusion after many Royal Cruises, do not do the dining package, do individual restaurant bookings because when you do it individually, you can pick your time and day way before the cruise starts. Um, it's gonna be more expensive, but I think it's better. Conversely, if you are trying to save money, I would say that on a war specifically, the ultimate dining package could really go a long way. Like we had so much fun like eating at Sabor and eating at like Samba Johnny Grill, Johnny Rockets. Like Azumi was delicious on board. There's so many places that you could go. That was already four, so it's more than the three nights. You know? If you want to be super flexible, I guess it's worth it. Okay, the first course is here, what you get? I got the chicken and walnut salad. It looks yummy. I got the butternut squash soup. Whoa, what's happening? Check out all 
like human teeth. It turns out we have the crush the turtle but crush the turtle show not the drawing show yeah which you know that was fun but we had to guess like what shapes the fish were trying to make and you know one of them was jellyfish and another one was the actual ship that we're on but i wanted to draw what'd you get i got the bolognese nice i got the i don't know what i got it was like lemon thyme chicken yeah okay we got dessert today this is the lemon icebox pie First of many desserts for the night, hopefully. <laughs> it's good. So we're walking out of animators. I think that could be it. it could no, maybe they mean this one. There's supposed to be a hidden Mickey on one of the Dalmatians. Brian, his greatest struggle today was trying to download a Kindle book of hidden Mickeys on board. And he finally got it. And he's been reading up on his hidden Mickeys. And they said that these... They said that's one. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is. I don't know how is. I feel about that. Because like we said this morning, we like the ones like with the nose. Because this is yep. kind of like... We like the side Oh, profile. is it? Isn't it? Yeah. I think Animators has been the best restaurant. I think so too. It was fun. I don't... I think it's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to get a second dessert. Add vanilla peas. Wow. It smells good in here. It does. Okay, what flavor did you get? I got um, King Candy, which is strawberry and Skittles. Oh, nice. I don't particularly like strawberry ice cream. I love strawberries. Um, but the Strawberry Skittles ice cream... Uh, too, wait, well, how does it go? Strawberry ice cream... In a dish. No. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry ice cream, two spoons, Malibu. Oh, I don't know. I, I know what you're talking Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, all right, how is it? Again, I don't really like strawberry ice cream, but the, the Skittles kind of saves it a little. Because there's Skittles in there. Meh. I got um, Midnight, which I know, yeah, that's scary. <laughs> midnight cookies and cream, and it's it's good. It's really good. It's, um, it's much better than my other flavor I had the other day, and... Um, it's good because it is almost midnight, so it works. I prefer my other flavor, which was like cupcake gelato. Okay, it's been a few days. Do you think... Okay, it's gone. He's gone. That's good. Yeah. We didn't hide our other one. I'm kind of thinking I want to leave it for the stateroom attendant. Yeah, he'll probably cherish it forever. Yeah. But we haven't had a chance to do the midship detective agency game yet. One of our last activities here. I feel like that's a good way to close out the night. Yeah, and it's basically um, like a scavenger hunt type game thing. We're about to find out. And mystery. Murder mystery. Yeah, someone was shot. For real. Okay, so we get to choose a case. I think we should pick the hardest one. I want to do the case of the stolen shot. Okay, yeah, so that's the Muppets. We have a map of all the places we have to go to. We have our nice uh, detective badge. On the back, these are all the suspects. Yeah, and we What are we looking for? for? Someone stole... All the, the props for the show. They came to the show without the props. Oh, that monster. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's going to be Miss Peggy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that... And she was in there. She's like, oh, Kermit, what happened? And like... And, and she's a real... Pig. Pig. She's a real pig. We found... Um, this is Pepe's The King Prongs. This is his stateroom. You should stand next to it. So. That's interesting. It has Pepe's door on here. Why yeah. not take a picture, okay? Yeah, I think, yeah, there's going to be a clue, so... But you can stand next to it, and we can get some sense of scale here. Wait, wait what's his room number, though? It's 5148 and a half. Okay, so okay. there's a sub clue somewhere on here, so... Good to know. We found it. Here we are at the scene of the crime. You know the time that the crime took place. <gasps> 1.47 p.m. <gasps> what? That seems like something that should be remembered and written down. Like a clue. See, go ahead and write it in your casebook. Done. Now let's look for more clues. Choose a painting from your map and we'll meet you there. Let's go up to, okay. to nine. Let's do that. So there's paintings like this that look the same as the ones that are for the game. But the ones for the game have the little um, icon on the carpet. Rehearsal from one to two. So it couldn't have been the animal, right? Because he was in rehearsal. Oh, so it's kind of like the game of Clue, the board game, you know? I find it more like, um, what's that one where you knock people's faces down? Like Guess Who? Guess Who. I know, but like, but we're, we're, we're eliminating players based off like clues, just like Clue. Yeah, but you do, you eliminate players in 
Guess who, too? Yeah. Where it, it was? Cool. Was it so, Chef? Yeah. It is cool how, like, these paintings, it's like Hogwarts at Universal, where it's like, yeah. it looks like a painting. It's cool. It doesn't, like, take away from, like, the decorations of the ship, having, like, the game here. No. It's pretty cool. I yeah. really like it. it. It's a good way to explore. Yeah. Okay, so next, I propose that we go up a level and forward to 10. And then we're just going to work our way down. Use your device to suck Beaker's words into the battle. So you bag. move around your badge and it like moves things on the screen. That's how you like interact with the screen. I have photos on my door of everyone who took an excursion. Oh, we took a photo of that. Oh, these are the people on the excursions. Oh, okay. So these are all the people it could be. Also, there's a thing where it says for us to call him. We should call that when we get back to our state room. We should. So let's go to the next painting, I guess. We should go to the next one? Okay. Who is our suspect? Just pick a photo and drag it into the box. The stupid chicken. Let's see. Oh, you oh my, my god. Thank you. And you figure this out chicken. Yeah, we should tar and feather her, okay? It was the chicken. The chicken sandwich. <laughs> Don't be too hard on her. Let's ask her why she did it. Why, Camilla? You know I'm performing my big stunt on the aqua duck. What? What? It's not a real duck, it's a water coaster. Camilla, you were jealous of a water coaster? <laughs> that is so romantic. Look at you. It's so romantic. That's actually funny. The Muppets are funny. Case solved. Wow. It was the stupid chicken. I wonder if it changes. Sure like if we know. did it again, would it be a different character? Yeah. I don't know. For doing all the hard stuff. I think this game is a great idea and I love it. Um, and even if it doesn't change, like if you select the Muppet case again, you can select the other versions. Like there's yeah, the Dalmatian There were two case. other cases. And there's something else, yeah, so. And I, we've seen so many families, couples, yeah. kids, like everybody is out here enjoying it. A ton of people are doing this, yeah. Very fun. Okay, you ready? Yep. Last Gus. Hopefully, hopefully there's a ghost. We don't know for sure. It's oh. towels. It's the dog. Wait, do I not have some? No. Did he take the blanket? Why did he take my blanket? He took the blanket. <laughs> I won't have the foot. Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Is there a hidden? Oh, that's a hidden blanket. You've heard about hidden Mickey's now. Have you heard about hidden blanket? Why would he do that to me? Okay, I'm okay, sorry. So sorry that the dog didn't get the proper fanfare, but like, <laughs> I wanted to know where my blanket was. <laughs> okay, so it's a dog holding um, a survey. And we're going to give everybody all fives because of everybody asked. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, but I do love that they give us the chocolates. That's something that everybody, like every cruise line used to do. And yeah. then they cut back, they cut in corners. And it's, um, it, it says it's Dove chocolate. And I like Dove chocolate. And that's the same company that makes Dove so. hair and skincare. <laughs> Soap and chocolate. They don't do that. Normally, um, I would save all the Gus's, but because he's been using the blanket, I haven't been able to hoard them like I normally would. So this is the last Gus standing. And coincidentally, it's usually the first Gus we get on board a royal cruise is normally this dog. Dog. Yeah. It was interesting to see the bigger Gus's with the, t with the, the towel. The, the blanket. The, blanket. The, the, the canvas is much larger. It is. It gives you way more um, opportunity for magic. The artist can have more fun with a larger canvas. Yeah. So on um, Pepe's little door that we found in the hallway, there was a thing that said, call him. So now we're gonna call him on our stateroom phone and see if something happens. Let's see. Seven, five, one, four, eight. Hola, you have reached Pepe de King Pran. If you are looking for a clue, I'm sorry, okay? I'm clueless. <laughs> but to hear Pepe's joke of the day, press one. Press one. Joke to of the day. To hear my advice on the dates, press two. To hear me woo you, press three. Three. To hear... <laughs> Woohoo! To see I threw in the extra who, <laughs> okay? I, I give and I give. Unbelievable. Call again. That's cool. That's such a fun little Easter egg. That is really cool. I enjoy that. Sadly, we're leaving Castaway Key and going all the way back. Whoops. Whoops. 
to Port Canaveral. I like that they have the red line there to show like where we're going. That's cool. It's very nice. It's not very nice that we have to go back home and that they're kicking us off the ship. Yeah, like it's weird to think like, at, like we're getting off board at like 6.45 or like seven and going right to work. Like that's, that's horrible. I don't like that. We don't need to think about that. No, but here's what we should think about. Our next cruise is literally a dream cruise for me. I've been wanting to do this cruise my whole life. Not really, because when I was an infant, I didn't know what cruises <laughs> were. But but no, I, I, um, I'm I so excited for our next cruise. And um, I guess we'll see you there, because that's what's next. Yeah, that's our next cruise. That cruise, that one. See you there. Yeah. See you real soon.